What I would like to suggest right now, just for the sake of time and expediency, is let's stay with email and Google Docs for right now. Um, we will have, and right, hopefully at the end of today, we will have an eight-member committee from all over the district, and they can work together to decide what's best for the group as far as the ways to communicate. But for right now, we'll, we'll, everything from today will be in a Google Doc. Um, that means the video from today. That means about, probably about 10 different presentations. That means all of everybody's notes. I know that Terry has been scribing, yes. Gary Kluwer has been scribing. So we'll have, we'll have notes to give you. Um, we have a lot of information to give you, and we'll do all of that with email and Google Docs. Is everybody okay with that for the time being? Yes, thank you yes. so much. Great. Great. Um, okay, so. <clears throat> there's two questions. Three. Yes. Three. Just everybody stand when you want to say something. Oh, no, oh, it's not me. I was pointing over there. there. I have a question about, I assume you're, putting, you're going to put these dots on some place on, on a Google Drive, and are, can we know where that is? Well, well, well you're going to be, yeah, you're gonna be <laughs> getting an email with, with the actual Google Doc to open up. Okay. So, so, the, so my big question right here is that um, I think that in terms, in what's next is really immediate steps is that all of us are going to go back and talk to our respective groups, and hopefully we're all going to do a debriefing with the rest of our, our groups. And so I don't, I hate to put pressure on people who did all this work to do this, but getting that like real soon now. Yes. So, so I'm going to do my debrief like the, tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Pressure, pressure. So because I, I you lose pressure. stuff as time goes by. Yes. So okay. Like. Sorry, yes, so Jenica is going to be doing the Google Doc. Let's hear from her. Um, yes, we can we can email you a, a shared document. Mm -hmm. And but the other thing that we talked about was also doing a private uh, page on our website. I don't know if mm -hmm. one or the other is more preferable. So I want to say something about that. I feel um, really really strongly that um, I don't want to make this district wide Ashland based. Right. And and I felt like. Um, Putting it on our website makes that so. So I want to sort of start fresh and anew this weekend, where it's like every it's neutral. So it's not it's not our website. I, who else has a website in this in the district? Yeah. So it's not your website. It's not your website. It's just out for all of us. So Great. how does that sound? Yes. 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 People like that. Okay. Uh, uh, is this uh, security an issue at all for us? Like in terms Tim? of. Did you have an issue? I, I, can, I can speak to that. Uh, I attended the Wiki gathering for the last two years in Washington, and we had a woman from Wiki come and present in a short, uh, we call it like a, not a breakout session, but a, yeah, a blast, like 20 minutes. And she said, uh, be sure uh, on your communication, like we're talking about, this is, this is what we're going to put out. Basically, it's public knowledge, because everybody here knows about it. But at, let's like, say, like at the steering, committee um, level, you might really want to think about just basic encrypted uh, stuff. Ron mentioned that, you know, that encryption is available. So things that you want to keep tight for a while. Um, she said, just understand, there's a countermeasure yes. for everything that you want to attempt to do privately. There's Got a countermeasure. It. So, Jenica, could you address the encrypted? Can well, we just if encrypted? you're sharing it as a Google Doc, Google allows you to choose whether you're sharing a link to view, to edit, or to comment. comment. So you, <coughs> you're sharing a specific URL with someone that they can only do one or one of those three things, and no one else can see it. Um, so in that way, it's it's pretty safe. That's another reason why Slack, like the national and, and the statewide. Uses Slack because it's very uh, private. Um, but didn't they just have a leak? Yes. Google Docs. Everything. Yeah. And. Yeah. 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 So, does everybody feel comfortable with an encrypted Google Doc? Yes. Yeah. yeah? That provides the basis. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jennica, would it be okay to put your email up for anybody that wanted to give uh, notes and, and pre presentation instead of sending it to me to send to you? Would you be okay with that? Sure. It's just my name. Um, Jennifer J E N I C A. S. Yeah, we have. F A Y E. Sarah, would you send? Uh, would you send everything to no. Jennifer Fay? S Yes. So, is that what we're doing? Yeah. So, and are you going to get that information to all the other per, uh, presenters? Um, all the other <laughs> presenters have already given me everything, so I'll just send it to Jenica. Okay. 
Great. Do okay. we have Great. permission to to share that those documents further with say members of our group? Yeah. <laughs> I would say with discretion, yes. yes? Okay. Absolutely. Um, we definitely want you to share it, but um, like this this e like the email list that we're giving you today, um, I mean that will be part of what Jenica sends you. We asked you, is it okay to share with the group? But we don't want you to be using it for spam. We don't want to be hearing right. about your no. music yeah. concerts and anything else. It's just for indivisible. Right. Everybody understands yeah. that, yes? Yeah. yes? So this email list that we're giving you is specifically and, and exclusively for indivisible use. Yes. I just want to caution everyone that if you send an email, assume that you may share it with someone who you trust who then thinks it's a good idea to send it to the newspapers or to the Republican Party. So just assume that whatever you put in emails, it, you, you would be happy with it being in the public forum because it happens. Okay, good. <coughs> right back, yes. straight back in the back. Um, there was just a suggestion made that if you send it to multiple people that you use a BCC so that you're not sharing yes. everybody's email. That's great. Right. Thank you. And by the way, one of the documents will be a spreadsheet with everybody's email. So you'll be emailed to you specifically, but in the document will be a spreadsheet. Josefina, do you want to stand? And talk? Yeah, I think that we need to start invited minorities to the group. Mm -hmm. And if you know somebody that in your community that are interested <coughs> to be part of the invisible group, we need to invite it, like a Muslim group like uh, black groups and, uh, I don't know, uh, Asian groups, because they have another perspective what the, the district are, the different that we have. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, anybody have anything else about uh, communication, ways to communicate? Okay, so um, the two things we'd like to talk about is um, where and when will be the next, next district-wide retreat, and then also um, who would like to nominate themselves to represent their, their county. <laughs> I have one suggestion that just if we put in the center of the district, since it's such a large district, we're more likely to get people from all mm -hmm. areas, right. yeah. just sure. geographically. Great. I said just find them. Hold on just a sec. We just have one person talking at a time. So I also just want to offer that I'd be happy to um, coach and mentor whoever is um, going to be hosting, and I'll give you my to-do list or lists <laughs> and help you in that way. Tim? I was going to say a better use at the mouth, mouth your refuge. I have to say, yeah. Malia Refuge oh, wow. in Bern. That's for great. location. That's great. Yeah. Well, can I, can I add something? I mean, if one of you take that on geographically in the center, you need the bandwidth to put on the, mm -hmm. the show, too. So yeah. be careful yeah. right. about that. Can we might not be able to go. Can you tell us a little bit more about what kind of bandwidth is required as far as mm -hmm. money and how many volunteers you would need before people start deciding whether to volunteer? And places to stay. Yeah, great. So um, we, we've been very fortunate. Um, we live in a very affluent community. So from the very first, we've done about four intro, um, indivisible intros uh, throughout the, just the little, the, the, the small region, Ashland, Grants Pass, Medford. And uh, I've actually been doing most of the, well, I, I guess all of the intros, but we've been passing the hat. And so we've got a couple of thousand dollars that way just from passing the hat after an indivisible intro. And then we, uh, on our website, we have a donate button and we've raised a couple of thousand dollars this way. So we've had, we have a little money in the bank. Um, we spent $800 on food this weekend. And by the way, can we have a big shout out to Susan? <laughs> Um, I, we, I, I budgeted $800 and I gave her a check and she had 51 cents change. <laughs> and, I mean, should she be on the prices right or what? Anyway, I digress. So, so it's $800. Um, we're renting this room, which is um, because Holly works here, we kind of got a deal, so it was $200. Wow. And um, we had $100 for insurance. So I think it was about $1,200, something around there. 
Yeah. And you know, we, we had talked um, about passing the hat here, and you know, we felt strongly that we wanted you to be our guests oh. for the week. I mean, it's, you know, people from Hood River, they spent 12 hours getting here. It really warms me that you spent so much time and energy, and I feel like, you know, we're, you're, you're like our extended family, and I feel like I want to develop a long-term relationship with you, and when people come to my house, I don't say, could you pay for it? <laughs> so, <laughs> so we don't want to pass the hat. So some, some of you have been very sweet and said, how can I contribute this weekend? And, and I said, if you want to go to our website and put a donation on, that's fine. But really and truly, you are our guest this weekend. And I don't want to say that if you, have, if you host, that you shouldn't be passing the hat because we're very, very privileged here in Ashland. I'll be the first to admit that. So I'm happy to come to Bend and spend $50 to, to, to stay with you. I also want to say that we put out, this is how generous people are in Ashland, we put out one email asking for housing for this retreat and 67 families within 24 hours said, I've got a studio, I've got an extra bedroom, my kid just went to college, I have a mother-in-law, and everybody that wanted housing got housing. So we're extremely, yeah. But that is a consideration if we're if we're going to a very small town in a very small area in a rural, you know, because we we all not that we are expecting too much, but um, it would be nice for people that are traveling great distances to not have to pay for a hotel or motel. Does band make stand up, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Paula from Sisters. I'm volunteering band. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not organizing. I'm plenty busy, but I think band just makes logistical sense. Yes. 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 Can we hear from people, people from band how they feel? Offer homes. Okay, Sid. So, um, a couple things. You know, a lot of, I do believe that if we're going to get, think about the fact that people from Eastern Oregon didn't even want to give up like their name and email address because of the safety concern, mm -hmm. whatever. Which is why I think, as much as I would love to hold the next one in Eastern Oregon, maybe that's not the best place for us to go. Right. If we want folks to, who are afraid to be part of this, let them come to someplace that's close to them, me, but not their place. Raise your hand if you think Ben Sisters is the best option. Makes the most sense. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's democracy. I'll, I'll speak that some because there are a couple of us who are kind of, kind of central to the the Bend itself area uh, working on all of this. And I know Nancy's gonna be like on a, in a different, on a different continent when the next thing would come around. And um, uh, while I have a lot of energy, I'm not gonna take on the central role, but I'm happy to help. Okay. What we really need to do is go back yes. to our own groups of constituents <coughs> and talk to them about hosting and are there people who are willing to step up to work on that? Can I see a show of hands from people that are in the Bend and Sisters area? And be please be honest, who would be willing to be on the committee to, to, to host the next retreat that's would, here today? I would extend it Central Oregon Sisters Bend Redmond, Redmond, Redmond the Dalles and Hood River. Because I don't think that, that we're not as organized as as you guys are in Medford. And I, th I think the bigger issue is you're asking for us to commit right now, and a right. lot of our folks are not necessarily yeah. here. We all think, we. I think there's a consensus in this part of our Central Oregon right. group, and our Highway 97 group, that it is the logical place to hold it. Right. It's absolutely mm -hmm. sensible. Yeah. The question is, do we have the resources? You guys have a 501c4. We don't have a financial I organization as far as I know no. uh, so we need we to sell. have a it is the logical place it makes sense that we target that but committing to it right now and committing to that steering committee without talking to for instance a lot of the leadership who aren't here mm -hmm. is right. challenging well, for us. As a district, I mean as as I don't see the two two is being there and then a look for how to make that happen. Yeah. I mean, which doesn't necessarily need to be. I, I, I'm, I'm afraid that we leave today and it'll be shh. Yeah. So that's why I'm really, I don't want to say pushing, but it feels like I am pushing for a commitment because I think that the people, there are enough people here all from Bend and Redmond and sisters that can say yes together because if we're leaving this weekend just and have this weekend be it, we haven't, we haven't, we have, we have not 
We have not served our purpose. Yes. Some, some, yeah. some of us from here, some of us from here, I myself, would be willing to go up there uh, if it's, uh, I'm usually available. I could go up there and help with it too. It having sounds had. like it's a financial thing, but well, let's, let's just, can we just, one, no, 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 it's it's two, two three. Sorry. So, you know, I don't know if this is, this might be as a bad idea, but how, like, we're one congressional district, so what infrastructure you have here that you could support uh, Central Oregon with, you know, I mean, I think there's consensus that Central Oregon makes logistic sense, as you said, you know, in terms of the district and gathering people, but maybe there's some infrastructural support that can come from, you know, Rogue Valley, Is too. Is there something specifically that well, you Well, I don't know. Much? I mean, there's just things that are being brought up, like, okay, we don't have a 51C4 or whatever it is, or like in Sisters, or we're a small group, how do, you know, we, I mean, I can host people at my house or whatever, right. but yeah. it's like some yeah. just the logistical, so logistical support. Okay. Can, I, can I just say yes. what the issue, before, like, to just lay yes, some groundwork so that you guys have a sense of what we're, what we're resisting a little bit, mm -hmm. is that within um, Bend, there's probably maybe 10 of us that are active. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot on our, our on our email distribution list, but there's maybe, I don't like at the most there's 10 of us that are really active and doing anything. Right. And so it's not about money, it's about getting people that that are that would really step up and help, <coughs> you know, with the and housing organizing or organizing. It's not and we're money. already trying, you know, we're doing a lot of other things. So we're really spread thin. Mm -hmm. So it's that's why we would really like to be able to go back to our people and see so if we can get the um, the support that we would need to host something like this. Because we see all these people and that's that's great, but we you're literally talking about like just a handful of us that are really truly active. Okay. I wonder if there's another way to think about it. What if what if uh, we flip it, say, well what when, like between now and 2018 elections, how, how, how many times should we meet? Why don't we, why don't we put together yeah. the steering committee? We have the steering committee. Yeah. 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 Can I really quickly, why does our 50 or, or status not apply to them seeing that we're part of the same group? Like, if we have that... Because there's 39 chapters in um, in this district, and we're, we're one of them. Okay, so yeah. it's just our chapter. Um, I just want to ask very quickly, have you had an intro meeting in Ben? Like, a, for a public meeting to talk to people about what Indivisible is? and yes. we, have a, we have probably between ATO Central Oregon um, indivisible bend and the vocal seniority and the vocal, vocal seniority and maybe um, like a, a handful of other groups there's probably I don't know maybe 600 right. 600 or 700 people like that we can reach out to mm -hmm. but they're just not they're 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 busy or they have lives or you know the the like we get regularly out at the out at the rallies maybe like 20 people? Or street corner people? rallies, yeah. It turned out, you know, there were 4,000 people at the Women's March. And, and our, our meet and greet, our, our public meeting, we had 170 to the first one. So, so if I'm there are people... I'm going to ask, I just heard that you have not had an introductory oh, meeting. No, this, no, there are a lot of groups, okay? And, and some of them had introductory meetings and some had not. Well, the group that I'm representing had an introductory meeting and we had 170 people show up. So but don't say that it hasn't been an introduction. No, no, meeting. I didn't say it. Rosemary said oh, no, okay. no, no. My understanding was that Ben <laughs> had not had Yeah, we have. Sorry, we have. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sarah? I just, I want to echo what somebody said. I really think that um, it, it, it's clear that this decision is not going to happen right now. In this yes, it's not going to happen. It's very clear to me. So I would really highly recommend that you all focus on uh, talking about who's going to be your steering committee and charge them with that task so that Ben folks can go home, yes. have more discussion, yes. right. put some thought into it. So that's why I would recommend putting it on. I agree with that. Well, so we, um, what would it be like if we had a date when they could get back to us to let us know? I mean, would that be okay? Mm -hmm. 
I mean, that would be a commitment of some kind. Steering committee. Steering committee. Okay. Um, does that feel like a good idea? Yep. Steering committee. Steering committee. Yes. Okay. So we are going to. Um, um, why don't we? Excuse me. Oh, uh, do you want a backup group? I mean, if the steering committee could maybe be from all the contact more than one group that might be able to do something like yes. the house. Yeah. But I mean, we have to the same thing. We have to talk to our people. Well, let's let the steering committee. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know what I think would be really great is for for um for anybody up north that wants to talk to their group to talk to their group and then report back to the steering committee. Yeah. How does yeah. that sound? Yeah. So let's take it from uh. Is there somebody with, 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 that has a, uh, would like to be on the steering committee? Alex? And what uh, So Alex Spencer? So wait, are, did you just volunteer to be our... Yeah, did you want to do it? All, well, no, no, I just... Uh, yeah, just the... Just steering, yeah. Well, we have two individual groups in Klamath. Alex is from one and I from the other. So, right. if, they, if you want to co, that's fine. We don't need a representative from every group because there, there's just this, that would be just too many. Too many. So we're just looking for one per county. Okay. Would you rather do it? Well, I mean, this is actually something that I was going to bring up. I, I imagine that probably there are other counties that might like to have a little private conversation about which one of their people is going to be the representative. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to I want to express that this isn't a criticism of, what, of the goals you're trying to yeah. accomplish. I think it just illustrates where we are in this room, and and that we are maybe they're just worth people are coming from so many different places. So this, 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 this is feel premature. No, no, no. no. I think I think about the steering committee, but what I want to do then is go back and talk to the rest of our individual. You can always change who's going to run. Sure. And then that yeah. can change. That's yeah. what I want to express. Uh, uh, this is to set in stone. This is basically right now we need a spokesperson, and it could be that you could change it next week or next month. But just to, so that we can solidify how we can all interface with each other, and instead of us, instead of 80 of us doing something, it'll be eight of us right yeah. now, and then reporting back to our groups. Sarah, did you have something else? It was just so you could do it that way. So have somebody, uh, you know, volunteer for the first time, and then have that discussion, or you could we, you could spend your time right now setting a date, and then everybody could go home, have their conversations with their individual groups, and decide who their uh, their member is going to be. So. Um, so do people, let's just a show of hands either um, for us to choose an eight member committee now or an eight member committee later. So raise your hand if you want to do it now. It can all change, but now I think we should do it now. Now and then later. Okay, so it looks like now. So what I would like to do is just get the name, your name and your um, county and then afterwards you can go up to Holly with your email address. Yes, Barbara. I'm Barbara Fontaine from Crook County. I will be on the steering committee. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. that she will be on the steering committee. So Liz Welton. Oh, Liz. Wait. Uh, yeah. Wait. Oh, we're waiting. There's nobody else in Bend that are, that's here today that wants to be she on the committee? Well, she can do it. She's, 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 she's super involved. She just couldn't come this weekend. Today okay. So, so Liz, L-I-Z-W-E-L-T-I-N. If, and if well, you could go yes. to um, Holly with her email yes. address. Okay, great. I'm Sarah Callens from Hood River. I lost my name tag. <laughs> <laughs> we got Hood River! We got that! Okay! John! Dallas. Give me John! Yeah. John. Yeah. John. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. 
keeping it going. John Medals. John Nelson Medals. Okay, we need clarification. Hang on a minute. If they're all coming in so fast. Is Michelle the bounty correct, Madras? Yes. Is that correct? Madras is in the Who are we missing now? Do you need eight? Will six work? So, Doug, you're doing Jackson County? Josephine. Josephine. Hello. One from each county. There's 20. No, but each county is representing me. Okay, so we need someone from Jackson County. Yes. Teresa. Woo! And Teresa. Okay, so Teresa, come on up. Um, who else do we have? John Nelson. John Nelson. We're missing two counties. No, I think we're just not. I think we got them all done. Do we have every county? Jackson County. Jackson County. Could you please also give me your email address? Are all our counties here? So we've got that By golly, I think we did it. Let's give it a hand. Yes. We've got it. Teresa. Okay, so I have some, just some final uh, notes and then we'll have lunch. What about me? Um, excuse me? Hey. I only have seven counties up here. Who are we missing? Sarah. That's right here. Here you go. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about dates. Um, when would be a good time for the committees to meet? Actually, we should ask the committees. How long do you need to meet to decide where and when our next retreat is? You got the blank stare from John. <laughs> 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 well, I guess, I guess. It's very well done. It also works. Lisa, out. I, I guess it's, a, it's Liz's question whether or not you can, you can do it. So. Well, and, and we'll all, I mean, that's what we're looking for. You just needed somebody from the shoots on the yeah. steering committee. She's awesome. She's got time. Yeah. And she's got time. Okay. So we will all go back, coordinate um, amongst the Deschutes County people, work with Liz to figure it out. Right. I'll make that commitment that we'll figure it out. Yep. Okay. But we needed to have somebody who had the time to make sure to coordinate with the steering committee. Right. And unfortunately, none of us in this room are able to. Okay. Take and is that. everybody okay that um, for Lisa to share the documents with Liz? Yeah. 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 So you're, yeah. you're, you're she normally. I'm in here basically in her stead. Okay. Great. <laughs> Wow. All right. So, um, I am Liz. so do we look, does everybody feel good about this so far? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, and then as far as the steering committee, do we want to hear back from them within two weeks or a month or what, what feels good? 30 days. Excuse me? 30 days? So does the steering committee feel comfortable meeting within the next month and then reporting back to us? Free conference call dot com. Okay. Would you be would you be willing to organize that? I was just saying I can do it. I don't know if I I would I can I wasn't sure if you were asking for an in person meeting, that's what I was trying to do. No, no, no. So does everybody know about freeconferencecall.com? So you can have up to 100 people talking on your computers. I think that would be, I would recommend that for the steering committee for them to start. Teresa, would you be willing to um, set up a freeconferencecall.com um, for your steering committee and figure out a date? I guess you'll all have your email address. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I'm wondering if we can get back to with them. Uh -huh. It's easy. You can use Google Hangout. Yeah, Google Hangout, there's a bunch of different ways. Do you have everybody's email address? Okay. Okay, great. Um, all right, so does everybody feel complete about that part? Yep. Yep. Yeah, that felt really good. Just to have the communication. Has everyone in this room received an email from Jessica? 
Like, well, just have now? Have you ever received an email from Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Has yes. anybody not received an email from me? Because uh, I'm talking with our webmaster. He's, he's suggesting that, Jessica, that you send, I could help you, but compile all the Google Docs because he's concerned about bounce backs or spam <laughs> ah. from email addresses that people haven't corresponded with. Yeah. Right. So can we do that? That we, we'll be sending Google Docs from Jessica since you all have received one, but I'll, I'll help you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, so just a few logistics um, as we're sort of winding down. First of all, another thank you, all of you, for coming. You guys are inspiring and um, If everybody could please, uh, when you leave today, take your name tag and just drop it off on the piano, AKA the registration table, so that we can reuse these again. Um, I also want to, um, we have a lot of food, um, and for people that are traveling distances, we'd really love for you to take a little um, package with you. We've got little zip -box, lock bags. We've got lots of yogurts left and lots of baked goods. So please help yourself um, to all the delicious goodies that we provided for you today, because we really do have quite a lot. Um, for those of you that have a little time after lunch, we really could use your help getting um, both of these rooms back in order. So um, if you're in, if you're helping with Holly's room, John, um, John, could you just raise your hand? John and Shirley will, will help you. They know how to put the room back together, including the piano. If you're going to be helping in this room, um, uh, Joseph, you're going to be doing, Joseph right there, um, we're going to need to put all of these chairs back um, in these things, and Joseph can help you with that after lunch. Um, we, um, Karen can help, uh, will help you uh, break down or show you where to break down the chairs and tables and put them up against the wall. You'll need her help. Can you just raise your hand for that? Um, please no eating on the, or anywhere near any of the instruments. Um, that's, that's super, super important. Um, and um, um, we have uh, surveys. Okay, that they decided not to. We're going to so, follow you up in an email. Because that way people can sit at home and, and answer and not feel like they're stressed out. Alrighty, so um, I'm sure you have a master list of emails so we'll do. Okay, great. Right. So I don't, I don't have Liz Welton's email, and I would like everyone who's given me their email um, to be a, a contact person to come up here and double check that I'm typing it correctly. Give me my one shot at it. Okay, great. Um, so uh, that's it for everybody. So have a wonderful one. Thank you. Thank you.